I grew up with two Hamlets with my mum and my brother. Um, when I turned 15, I came out. I got kicked out, I went into foster placement, and then I went into a hostel, and then I was sofa surfing, taking drugs. And my life was literally, like, it was literally upside down. There were seven of us living inside one building. I wasn't attending school that much. Like, we were, like, we were basically taking drugs every single day. And even though you're, you're with your friends, like, I didn't feel like I was me. Like, I just, like, I felt so lonely. And the worst bit was, I was predicted nine HSR to C passes. I left school with, with one C. I remember that day where I finally realised where things did have to change. I just knew that I had to reach out and kind of get some help. I just needed someone to actually believe in me. I'm teaching Asjo once a week and in that time I'm preparing him to go back to work. Over the year, I've seen him become um, a real leader to his peers, as well as a great support to others. And his presence, his, his spirit in class has just been a real joy to have. When I first attended, I did bunk off quite a lot. But then, Stevie pulled me aside, and then he said to me, look, as you need to fix up. So that's when I kind of changed it around again. I remember when you first came on course, do you remember? Yeah. <laughs> Attendants try to phone you in the morning, oh, I can't come in, I'm ill every single day. Behaviour issues in class, awful. I'm not doing any of that anymore, like, apprenticeship is, is going really good. I'm settling in with, with everyone else and I'm getting along. I will be teaching As for about three months more, and at that point he's got six months to prove himself. I think he's going to do great. I really hope to see him working full time at the end of his apprenticeship. and I work in facilities. Every Thursday I'm at college at City Gateway and every other day I'm here, I'm here at work at the NSBCC. Like when I first got the keys to this place, I, like, I was over the moon because it's finally my own house. Working for the NSPCC and kind of helping other people out, um, it's kind of show, like, showed me that there is a light at the end, end of the tunnel and that I can help people like the people have helped me. This is my vision board and I've done this five years ago. It's basically a collage of things I wanted to achieve. Now, five years down, down the line, I've, I've achieved everything. Like, for example, loving myself, having a good job and also having a home. Let 2015 be the year, the year that magic happens and a beautiful end to a fairy tale chapter. Like, now I know I can achieve anything. Whilst five years ago, I honestly didn't think I would, like, I would achieve anything. Even, like, even being in this house, speaking openly about what I've achieved. In five years to come, I could literally do anything.